Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Blade & Soul video. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a post from Nico Coutan, and if you don't know who Nico Coutan is, he is the senior Blade & Soul producer for the West. So this is the big shot guy over here on the NA and EU servers. This is the guy that's going to have the most information. At any rate, this post is with regards to Unreal Engine 4, so all the big YouTubers for Blade & Soul put out videos on the Korean server with the Unreal Engine 4 bit of information that dropped, how they're releasing the new Frontier server and all that great information, and Nico posts a clarification post in the official Blade & Soul forums. You've probably already read it in the amount of time it's taken me to intro this video, but if you haven't, we'll step through it, and as always, the link is in the description below, so feel free to click it and read it yourself. So anyway, the biggest thing from here is that this Frontier World thing that's coming to Korea is not coming to the NA server. They're not doing this whole Frontier World thing. It's not in the plans. So as we've kind of guessed, this Frontier World thing is going to be like a level 45, level 50 kind of thing based on the screenshots and what we've seen. So they're not even going to bother with that. When they make Unreal Engine 4 come over to the Western servers, the NA, EU, probably the Russia, all the Western servers, they're going to make it so that it is on the live server and the live server only which is a good news for a lot of players. A lot of people were all nervous saying, oh, my progress is going to get reset. So good news is you don't have to worry about that. Bad news, still no deadline on that. So we do know that it's coming to Korea in December, so literally like a month away. However, on the Western servers, it's just a general 2020 timeline. So at least we know it's coming next year, supposedly, but um, we won't have to worry about resetting our progress or anything like that. So great news for a lot of people. Although personally, I was kind of looking forward to the old level 45 content. So hopefully when they do import the new version, they boost up that content, the lower level content and make it relevant again, because I would love to play that stuff again on like a level 45 server or something along those lines that make the level 45 content relevant again. At any rate, that is the biggest news that came from this post. Additional news is that they have a huge update planned for December. So I have no idea what they could be doing for a major update in December. I really, really have no idea. I'm trying to think of like what's major on the Korean server that I might have missed. And yeah, there's new like dungeons and stuff that came out, but I don't think there's anything like crazy. So I'm kind of really curious to see what this major update in December is going to be. At any rate, that's all we got. So if you did find this video useful, if you found some information here useful, make sure to leave a like and check out some of the other videos on the channel and make sure you're subscribed so you stay updated when news comes out, when new content comes out, all that good stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you at the next stream video, wherever I happen to see you. Peace.